Welcome to JAM Academy. In this example, we have a man of mass M. He initially swings at the end of a very long rope. When he is right below the support of the rope, he lets go and fly across a swampy area. Now, we are required to calculate the tension in the string just at the moment that he lets go of the rope. Um, the very first thing that we have to do whenever we are given a problem like this is to draw a free body diagram. Um, a free body diagram is a diagram that only shows the forces acting on the body. It doesn't show the forces exerted by the object. So if we do a free body diagram, We've been asked to calculate the tension just below the support where he lets go. We have his weight which acts vertically downwards. We have the tension in the string which, all, which acts vertically upward at this particular moment. Now I would also like to call your attention to the fact that at this particular moment his acceleration is directed towards the center of the stream and his velocity is at right angles to the acceleration at that particular moment. Also, he swings on an arc, which means that he is performing um, circular motion. And if he is in circular motion, then we know that the sum of forces acting on him is equal to mv squared all divided by L where L is the radius of the circle, which happens to be the length of the row. Um, so if we further expand Newton's second law, we have T minus mg. All of this should be equal to mv squared over L. So what this means is that T will be equal to mg plus mv squared all divided by L. This gives us the expression for the tension in the string. But the only problem is we don't know what value the velocity at that moment is, so we have to calculate it. Now if that is the case, keep in mind that when he lets go of the rope, he has just a horizontal velocity his vertical velocity is zero. That explains why he projects himself like a projectile. Um, the good thing about this problem is we know the range, the horizontal distance he travels before he drops to the floor. And you also know the height he falls. We can use these two values to calculate that horizontal velocity. And uh, we are going to do this as follows. We know that the range R is equal to Vx multiplied by T. Um, but what is T? To calculate T, we need to consider the vertical motion. If we assume that the origin is where he lets go of the rope, when he hits the floor, his vertical distance Y is equal to minus H. Similarly, his acceleration in the, in, the, in the y direction is negative g. What that implies is that y is equal to y naught plus v o y t plus one half a y t squared. This is zero. This is zero. This would mean that negative y is equal to negative one half g t squared. In other words, the time of flight is equal to 2 h all divided by g. Why h? Because when the particle hits the ground, y is equal to h. And if that is the case, we can therefore see that the range r will be equal to vx multiplied by 2 h all divided by g. This is the general expression for the range for a particle moving um, in a horizontal projection. So uh, we can actually calculate the value of t 
t is equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by h is 20 divided by, I'm going to take g as 10 just to simplify things. So we have t here equal to 2 seconds. And if t is equal to 2 seconds, it would mean that v is equal to, it would imply that vx is equal to r over t, which is equal to 10 meters divided by 2 seconds, which is equal to 5 meters per second. Given that we know the value of v, we can therefore solve for t. t will be equal to 7 multiplied by 10 plus 70 multiplied by um, 5 all squared all divided by 7 because the length is 7. This is equal to 700 newtons plus this is 25, 25 multiplied by 10, that will give us 250 newtons. That means that the tension in the string is equal to 950 newtons at the time at which he lets go of the rope. Um, thank you everybody for your time. Um, if you have any questions so far, I will appreciate it if you ask in the discussion forum below. Um, remain blessed. Bye-bye.